Okay, I'm bored in the house, bored in the house, bored, bored in the house, bored in the house, bored, bored than a mother sucker in the house, bored than I'm bored, then I'm bored, then I'm bored, then I'm bored, bored in the house, bored in the house, bored. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jackie Ina. Jacka, 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 jacka. It's officially week three ish, probably longer than that on lockdown house arrest i don't know but i just hopped on twitter and i was like look y'all just think of some would you rather questions that you can ask me and i'll just answer them in a video and y'all zoomed in as the heathens that you got no i'm kidding there's like 400 comments and i asked this question like an hour ago like you guys are cray cray we're just gonna play a game of would you rather while i do my hair and makeup and today's video is also gonna be done in partnership with Vesca, who is the owner of these bronzers i'm gonna be featuring these in today's video starting off with a little bit of setting lotion i honestly have just been doing the hair thing in my videos lately because literally because I can this is a little bit of setting lotion this is from Elastic QP I'm just gonna use this to kind of like flatten out all the little strays and stuff in my hair make it a little neat just for today's video I'm gonna read some questions <laughs> while I do this I'm kind of nervous to see what the hell y'all are going to come up with would you rather have unlimited microblading or unlimited laser hair removal? Easy, unlimited laser hair removal. Because I'm super hairy. Microblading, that's my word about that. That's for the birds. I mean, I love it, but like of the two concerns, I'm, I would say abnormally hairy. So I want that laser for life, sweetie. And I hope you meant free, because I'll take it. I'm just using a little bit of hair gel now, just to smooth this down. This is Goldwell Lagoon Jam. I'm obviously overdue for a reorder. Would you rather have no eyelashes and can't wear falsies or no eyebrows and can't fill them in. What kind of sick and twisted, what the hell's wrong with you? This is a trick question. Are there cash incentives? Like why can't I fill in my brows? I don't know girl, that's a hard one. No brows though? No brows could kind of sort of be a look if you play it right, if you pull it off. I think I have a bit too much forehead real estate to pull off the no brow look, but if I had to choose between the two, I'm going for no brows. That's it, final answer. Would you rather give up facials for a year or discontinue continue the use of Arm & Hammer toothpaste for a year. Okay, I would probably give up Arm & Hammer for the simple fact that like if my teeth start turning yellow, like I could just go get them professionally whitened. Facials though, that might be some irreparable damage. Like I've gotten too accustomed to a good facial, honey. I mean, I could probably finesse it and like work around it. And I'm sure I could probably get my esthetician on video chat to walk me through how to do peels and stuff like that. Like I'm sure there's ways around it, but would I want to give up facials for a year? Absolutely not. I would want to give up Arm & Hammer either, but like if it came down to it, girl, bye, I'm taking my microdermabrasion, hydrofacials, extractions. I want it all. I want my facialist, that's it, period. Don't at me. Okay, I'm done with my hair. I just like to get this part neat and then I just let the rest of my hair do whatever the hell it wants to. I'm just gonna tie it up with a silk scarf and then we're gonna jump right in to the makeup. Oh, sorry. Why did I apologize to myself? You guys, how cute is she? Her name is Tay's face on Instagram. Her video randomly popped up in my newsfeed. T-A-E-S and then face, like all one word. Tay's face did a glossy eye look. So today I woke up and I was just like, you know what? I'm on my glossy eye tip too. I've done a glossy eye video like years ago. It was cool, whatever, but this is kind of like an elevated version. This one was really, her look was really, really cute. So I'm gonna start off by, I'm gonna start off by priming my skin with my Milk Hydro Grip, Hydro Grip Blur Primer. Hers is a little bit more of a 90s soft glam glossy eye. I want to go a slightly different direction with the skin. I want this to be a little bit more spring summery and I'm also gonna do a different lip. I'm gonna powder my skin using my Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder and answer some more of these little shady questions. This is an easy one, baby. You gonna have to come harder, baby. Somebody asked me, would you rather have concealer or foundation for the rest of your life? Choose one, easy. Concealer all day, duh. They technically are the same thing. Like nobody likes to talk about the fact that concealer and foundation really are basically the same thing. Things the cosmetic industry doesn't want you to know about the brands. Name the difference. Name the difference to me. They're both liquid. They both come in cream form. They both come in stick form. They can be formulated to be as light or as heavy as they need to be. What's the difference? None, there is none. Now, usually with concealer, they're gonna be a little bit more coverage. That's just because that's the way they formulate them. But there are plenty of foundations that I have that I could wear as concealer and have worn as concealer. Pure Four in One is one of them. Estee Lauder Double Wear, you could totally wear that as concealer. You know, tomato, tomato, it's all the same thing. Next, I'm gonna add a little bit of glow to the skin. This is the D-Glow Highlighter from Nuban Beauty. This is a Nigerian-owned brand and Nigerian-based beauty brand. 
and they're known for their liquid highlighters. They are really watery though, and they are a bit on the glittery side, so if you don't like glitter, I just thought I would point that out. So the color that I'm gonna use is Sizzle, and look how gorgeous this is. Like, it is so freaking pretty. I'm just going to spread out on a brush first. This is Nabella's brush from her e.l.f. collab. I'm just going to add, that is so, so freaking beautiful. That looks like wet skin. I've only swatched these. This is my first time wearing these. Oh my God. The glitter is like a really premium grade of glitter. Like it just looks so pretty. And this doesn't look chunky at all. Wow. 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 How are my Nigerian followers doing? By the way, I'm thinking about you guys. I just found out that you guys are on lockdown too. I don't know when that happened, but I thought it was just the UKs and the US's of the world. I know Canada, some parts aren't really on lockdown, but they're kind of are. It's like assumed, but not really enforced. Y'all like, I just, I think anybody with a pulse does not like to see the world suffer in, in any form or just in general. And it sucks. It sucks not being able to have the impact that I wish I did to be able to help more people, but it's a lot. It's a lot to take in. I'm thinking of all of you guys, truly. I really am. And I hope you guys are doing okay. Would you rather go back to talk to your past self or would you rather go to the future to talk to your future self? While I answer that question, I'm using my minted contour stick in the color D40, Delta 40. This is their stick foundation, which is bomb by the way, get into it. To be honest with you, I had a really troubled past. For what my childhood was and what my adolescence was and what my upbringing was, it was good, but it, it was also like really disturbing. Do I wish I went through those things? Absolutely not. But yeah, hell yeah, I would change them. Like there's some things that I can't even say I wouldn't change, I would freaking change them. But at the same time, like we have to also give credit to the fact that those things taught me things. So I can't guarantee that I'd be the person that I am today had I not been through those things. This is M10. This is kind of like really my skin tone shade, but I'm gonna use it to correct the under eye. If I had to choose between the two, I would probably talk to my past self for the simple fact that I could maybe give myself a pep talk. I don't know, like maybe I could just go back and say, girl, like this is temporary. Your titties are gonna get bigger. You're gonna make more money. You're not gonna like that person. Why are you sweating them anyway? In five years, they won't be squat, so get over it. You know, like I'd probably have that kind of conversation, but I don't think I would change my past because I think that changing my past would be counterproductive and would not, you know, like I just don't think I would be the person that I am today if I had a, a different past. And that's just what time it is. Before I blend out my contour, I already kind of like buffed out the foundation. I'm gonna take a bit of the Kevin Aquan Sensual Skin Enhancer in the shade 12. I'm trying to film, damn it. Really olivey though, a little bit more olivey than I would like it to be, but it's gonna get the job done anyway. That's what I does. And highlights. Would you rather wear the wrong foundation shade your whole life, which people already think I do anyway, so I guess probably already doing that. Experts. And some of y'all still insist on telling me that I have red undertones, but what you need to do is wipe off your fourth generation iPad screen and stop checking for me in my undertones. I got this, thank you. Or have your lash corner come up every time on both eyes and you can't fix it. Your whole, your lash corner come up. I don't really know what that means, but I definitely don't wanna wear the wrong foundation shade. I've already been through that lifestyle. I retired from it. That was pre-2009, Jackie. Before I could really afford MAC foundation, I don't wanna go back to that. I'm not, I'm, in fact, I refuse to. Would you rather always get the green light when driving or never have to stand in line again? Do I stand in line? No. You, but well, you hesitated, you thought about it. I didn't hesitate. Cause that should've been the question. In the name of I'm always late, I'm gonna go with green light. And the reason for that is it's always them damn lights that really do be adding on like 10 extra minutes and nobody likes to talk about it. But you know what? We're going to do that on this channel today. I mean, it don't make a big difference when you be sliding through them lights effortlessly and you don't have to wait. But like five minutes, it does make somewhat of a difference. I'm just saying it does. Okay, now I'm gonna buff out my contour. I'm still condor. I'm contouring because I can and I'm gonna eat a lot of cinnamon rolls. Mind your business, okay? I'm just trying to make it through the week. This is my first time using this Pat McGrath brush to blend out this foundation. Girl, she's looking real buttery. Would you rather remove your makeup only with wipes or never be able to use skincare no more? I'm offended that some of you know exactly how to poke the bear and you know what kind of questions would trigger me. You know I could never permanently give up skincare. You know that. But I'm also not really a big fan of makeup wipes, like only makeup wipes. So what you're saying is I do have to give up skincare and you 
you can't make me choose. You can't make me choose. I'm sorry, you can't make me choose. All right, fine, I'll just do the wipes. You didn't say I couldn't use skincare after. You kind of did, but that's okay. I'm creating my own options now. Questions to never ask black people. Would you rather have chapped lips or ashy skin? Wow, this is rude. I think somebody's trying to set me up. I'm in 4K, so like how could I sit here and comfortably and confidently have chapped lips in every video? I just won't be ashy, okay? Might just have to be chapped lips. That just might have to be my portion, but I can't be ashy, all right? I'm gonna highlight like for real for real this time using my Radiant Creamy Concealer from NARS. Why do I feel like I haven't used this concealer in months? It's cause I haven't, so sorry guys. I'm still loyal to her. She's still my ride or die, but these other brands have been dropping heat. What can I say? The shade that I use is Amond, and I'm just gonna use that right underneath the center of my eyes. But I'm actually gonna spread this out a little bit more because this is really the color that I want my under eye highlight to be. The Kevin Aquan Sensual Skin Enhancer was there for coverage. This I'm putting on for color because this is the real highlight shade. I'm not forgetting about the center of my face or my chin. I'm gonna use my handheld fan to let this dry down a bit. Would you rather never moisturize again or never brush your teeth again? <laughs> One of those is actually unhygienic. I'm, I'm gonna take brushing my teeth for 300, Alex, all right? This is not a would you rather, would you rather have your wedding ceremony in the US or Nigeria? This is not a would you rather. Those are two very plausible things that I'm not gonna talk about. Would you rather be able to shower and clean your body but your clothes stink or would you rather <laughs> or would you? <laughs> Who thinks of these questions? I do actually. I'm not even gonna front. Or would you rather never shower again and have clean clothes? Well, one of those is unhygienic. I'm never gonna choose the unhygienic option. Is, is having stinky clothes unhygienic though? I mean, it's not a reflection of me. It's just the clothes that stink. It doesn't say the stink comes from me. They could. Uh... Either way, I stink. So, would you rather eat only Ghanaian jollof or never eat any again ever in general? Ooh, y'all shaking the table. Well, <sighs> blends aggressively. <laughs> Ghanaian jollof is not my favorite, but it's not bad. Some are. I would rather have none again because the real tea is like, Rice is my weakness. I would rather like not eat it at all and be able to just give it up completely so I can keep that waist snatch. Because Nigerian jollof is supreme. I'm biased, I'm totally biased, but everybody's biased to their own culture's food. It is what it is. Cause I don't wanna eat no rice, eat no rice. I don't wanna, I don't wanna. I know you wondering, Jackie, how the hell is this coming together without foundation? I'm getting there. Please be patient. Thank you. Next, I'm gonna take my M20. This is from Minted. This is my skin tone shade. It's a perfect match, dead on match for the bottom half of my face. I'm gonna start by swatching and putting that on down there. I'm also gonna add a little bit to the center. M10, I'm gonna really focus on the center because we don't want our beautiful highlight to be diminished. Would you rather Christina Aguilera or Britney Spears? Would I rather what? Maybe he meant be them or get rid of them. I don't really know. Sorry, I'm gonna pass. So you're at an airport, <laughs> headed to honeymoon. This was really well thought out. Bag overweight, you have two options. Drop your palette or toothpaste. One has to go. Is that a real question, girl? Toothpaste you can literally buy at the airport. Buy toothpaste, buy. Nothing wrong with a little halitosis. Dennis will still love me. I already got the ring, so. <laughs> Perfect question to answer as I blend out my concealer. Would you rather lose concealer forever or lose lip line forever? There are so many products that you can use as lip liner. You could use a brow pencil, you can use an eyeliner, you could use even a foundation. Concealer, ha, ha! Concealer's here to stay. The apocalypse has happened. What is with all these well thought out elaborate schemes? The apocalypse has happened. Everyone has amnesia and doesn't remember who they are or what they've done. Your accounts have been hacked and are no longer accessible. Would you rather start your brand over from scratch or lose it and move to another career? Will social media be making points? Will it exist? If it doesn't exist, if people don't remember anything, then social media probably won't really exist. To what degree does the amnesia hit? Like, does it mean like everything? Like, are we like prehistoric now? Like, are we back in the 20s? Do we not have electricity? Do we not have technology? What level are we talking here? That was a good question though, but I need a little bit more info. Would you rather go down a slide of razor blades into a pool of lemon juice or walk a mile on burning coals with no shoes on? A little morbid. I guess we throwing them balls on them coals, honey. I just don't want 
cut up booty with lemon juice. Ouch! I can't wear shoes, but maybe I can wear socks. You didn't say I can't wear socks. I'm wearing socks. Okay guys, so we're gonna take a break from some of the questions and get into the bronzers. You know I love our bronze glow. You know I love our bronze glow. I do prefer a bronzer over contour with most looks just because it looks a little bit more effortless, more seamless, more like, I don't know, I just feel like bronzing just warms the skin versus like shaping the skin. I don't need shape at all. So I'm gonna take two of these Vesca bronzers. One of them, they smell really good by the way. One of them is in the shade Kissed by Maldives and the other one is Kissed by Cabo. I kind of like mix them. As you can see, Cabo is a little bit more like my skin color and then Maldives is a little bit more red. I wanna use both of them. These come in seven shades and if I had to choose between only having one, I would say Maldives because Cabo is a little bit more of like when I need an extra kiss, an extra glow. It's it's definitely a little bit more red. That might be too intense for some people. First, I'm gonna take just a smidge of Maldives and start blending that around my forehead. I, ooh, what is in my eye? Oh my God, excuse me. Now this does have a bit of pigment, so I like to just tap my brush once and even like kind of fan the brush out and blot off the excess. And I will start just kissing the sun-kissed parts of my face. This is why I do brows after bronzer because I like to just be able to go in and put the bronzer wherever I need to. As I mentioned earlier, this bronzer is in seven shades. They blend pretty nicely. And we will also be using these as eyeshadows a little bit later for this look because this is definitely one of those looks where we just wanna use like less and not more. Now I'm going in with Cabo. Boop, just put that, just kiss the brush. Don't swirl her, don't dip her, just kiss her and build up. By the way, I do have a discount code. My code is Jackie10. If you wanna save some moolah, the 10 is for 10%. And of course, as always, I will link these down in the description box below. I'm just gonna graze right around my sideburn area, a little bit over my ears. And then I'm also gonna go back to Maldives and do a little bit of my fake contouring right at the head of my brows. This is my favorite step, especially for today's look. We're definitely gonna want a little bit more of an elevated look. By the way, these are 30 US Zoolas and we will have a link in the description box, but I'll come back to Kiss My Maldives a little bit later for the eyes. I need to do my brows off camera because things get really intense and I just wanna like knock it out and get it out the way. I'm gonna come back and we will get to the star of today's look, which is the glossy eye. Now I am gonna take a little bit of mold and I'm just gonna highlight just beneath my brow bone because we want the eyes to have a naturally contoured look. And what's another way to add depth to any part of the face without contouring? Highlighting. We're gonna get started on the eyes. I just need a flesh tone color. That's the only thing I ask for. I grab my palette and I'm gonna take ginger. You don't necessarily have to use my palette. You can use whatever you have, whatever you have access to, or just use your favorite flesh toned crease color, whatever is fleshy on you. We don't subscribe to societal standards of what nude or flesh is on my channel. Flesh means you, flesh is personal. So I'm gonna take a little bit of ginger and I didn't prime my lids at all because we're gonna be using gloss, so we ain't trying to do all that. But I'm just gonna take ginger and start to just map out the blueprint of my eye shape. We just want just to shape it a little bit, just a little bit. Would you rather glue your lashes with nail glue or your frontal with nail glue? Oh my God, what is wrong with you people? This is terrible. We're definitely not putting nail glue near our eyes. That's, this is just evil. I would have to go for the frontal, but I would strategically try to put it on my skin and off of my hairline as much as possible. And I feel like that would be easier to remove. I don't see it for me. Not me, certainly not I. It's always easier for me to blend this side than it is this side. I don't know why. Do y'all have that too? Do you find one eye easier to blend than the other? You know what I think it is? I think it's because I'm right-handed and like naturally I have a little bit more movement in my wrist. Like I can go this way to get the ideal blend. Whereas here, I'm always gonna put the brush in the same spot. So you know what I need to do? I need to become ambidextrous and I need to figure out how to do this quickly and in less than five months. So I'm gonna take the Maldives shade that we used from our Vesca bronzer again. I'm gonna go in with a slightly, slightly tighter brush this time. Not too tight though. 
Starting close to my lash line, I'm just gonna deepen up our outer V a little bit more. I'm on season nine, Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Can you believe I started like a month ago? From season one, okay? Last year, I just had this idea of starting all of the Housewives franchises. I've never really actually watched all of them. I've seen like one-off episodes here and there, but I've never actually like sat down and watched a whole season of any of the shows, not Atlanta, not Potomac, not New York, not Jersey, None of them, not a single one. So last year I started with Jersey. Honey, Jersey? <laughs> What's going on in New Jersey? <laughs> New Jersey so far is definitely the messiest. Atlanta's a little messy, but with Atlanta, I still feel like there's a small sense of like sisterhood amongst all the girls on the show. Them old seasons of Jersey, honey, anybody could get it. Mother-in-laws could get it, the dog could get it. Like they were coming for blood on Real Housewives of New Jersey. Beverly Hills is cute, she's a moment. I mean, it's nice cause it's LA based. So it's like seeing all the places that like I've either never been to before. And I'm like, ooh, let me check out that restaurant. It's like nice, nasty, messy, but it's definitely not the messiest. So I'm moving on to Orange County after I finish Beverly Hills. Oh my God, I'm so excited to season 10. Garcelle Fancy from the Jamie Foxx show is joining season 10. I'm excited about that. They definitely need some melanin on the Beverly Hills franchise. Cause y'all know there are definitely people with money. Okay, pinkies up. Black people with money in Beverly Hills. So feature them. I would like to see it. Next, I'm gonna go on to liquid liner. This is from Lancome. It's my favorite. Anytime I wear liquid liner, I'm probably wearing this one. Now, we're definitely not gonna be answering questions because some of these questions are a different level of mess. I don't wanna be distracted while I'm winging out my liner. So if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna get real quiet. By the way, this is the brown shade, in case you're wondering. Brown shade. Now, we definitely wanna wing the heck out of this. So this is bleeding a little bit. I don't know if it's a little too wet. I'm not sure, maybe I need to shake it some more. I went for brown so that we could have a little bit more of a, not soft, but yeah, okay, there's a softer version of this look. Oh boy, I really wing that out, boy. Boy, we don't get you. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I really accentuated the eyes by drawing that liner ever so slightly just into my tear duct, literally changing your eye shape. Okay, so I went and grabbed whiskey. I do love a dark brown liner in the waterline moment. So I'm just gonna take whiskey and start to smoke and smudge her along my bottom waterline. Again, purposely avoiding these messy questions so I don't poke my eye out. For my lash, I'm gonna take something really thick, really wispy, really flare, girl. This is INV in the style, KPEI 121. I love this lash for a really dramatic look, so we're gonna pop that on. It's actually easier to do the gloss part of this look last so that the gloss doesn't like get all in your lashes and it's really, really hard to work around that and then remove the gloss from your lashes when you are trying to finish a look. So just do the full eye and then do the gloss as like the final, final, final step. I'll show you how, we'll get there in a minute. <laughs> Somebody, <coughs> I'm not sick. Somebody say what you mean. <laughs> Somebody say would you rather have a horizontal nose or a vertical mouth? But the follow up picture. <laughs> um, <laughs> fine, I'd rather have a horizontal nose. Jeez, you people just love torturing me, don't you? Would you rather paint your walls with makeup or do your makeup with paint? I don't wanna paint at all. The paint is definitely gonna clog our pores, so you already know what time it is. I'm not doing that. I'm gonna just clamp my tongue. Okay guys, I'm adding mascara. I just realized I forgot to do the rest of my bottom lash makeup, but we are gonna get there. I don't think y'all understand how much I stand for brown eyeliner. I'm gonna add my signature mole, honey. Yes, she still is there even underneath the makeup. Don't try me. So I'm gonna add a little bit of shimmer to the eyes before we get into the gloss part. I just want a little bit of sparkle, a little bit of base, you know, something to make the gloss lift a little bit more. This is from Pixie. It's their, whatever these are called, Bare Brilliance Liquid Fairy Lights. I'm just going to pop a bit of that on the center of my eyelid, but be very careful not to let this crease. I'm going to raise my brows all the way up, blend that out with a eye brush. I probably should have used something that was a little smaller, but I just want this to sparkle underneath the gloss. You don't have to do this. You can just do the gloss if you'd like. This is an optional step. That's pretty, I don't even wanna touch it, but we always have to elevate things. I always have to add a little Jackie on a flare to something. 
I do, I'm sorry, I can't help it. I'm gonna take a little bit of this gloss from NYX and I'm gonna put it on the back of my hand. I don't wanna go on directly with my eye because that's kinda nasty. And this is also a gloss that I use for my lips. Unless you just make this the designated eye gloss. This is their butter gloss formula. Super, super, super creamy, beautiful, flawless. It's one of my favorite gloss formulas. The shade that I'm using is Praline, but I just grabbed this because it's like a nude on me. So Praline or Praline. Do you pronounce it Praline or Praline? I don't really care, I just wanted to know. So we're just gonna glide a little bit of Ms. Praline right over our lid. Yes, this is going to feel weird, it's glass. Smear that right on over. Bomb AF, killed it sis. I'm really loving how chocolatey my eyes are looking. I'm gonna layer on a little bit more gloss. So do you see how you can see some of that glitter kind of peeking through? You don't have to do that though. That's totally optional. Now I'm gonna switch eyes. You probably have to do this twice because one layer isn't glossy enough to really get it to show. But also don't pile it on too much, child. Don't be putting on three layers and stuff. Calm down. Also, I'm gonna make it a point to just go right above my crease, like just right above it. Now, I want to go back to Ginger and I'm gonna be very careful not to double tip my brush. I'm gonna use two blending brushes for this step. In fact, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of Ginger just around the edges and just kind of like set it a little bit. Now I'm gonna switch my brush. Don't double zip, don't do it. Switch my brush and do the exact same thing on the other eye. When you do this, it actually kind of turns the eye orange. I like that. Going back to my bronzer or just any dark brown shade that you have available, I'm using a bit of Maldives to darken that under. Ooh, shadows is all my eye, girl. Calm down, girl. We need some bottom mascara. Be in the car. We riding slow. We're doing things that the girls won't do. Let's throw on a little Sasha. This is in the shade Santa Fe. This is such a beautiful blush. Oh my God, it's like the perfect terracotta orange, which is really like a nude for brown girls, by the way, blush right here. Get you some orange. Let me get back to these sadistic, would you rather trivia questions. Somebody asked me, would you rather have a rock pillow or an ice blanket? I feel like an ice blanket would just piss me the hell off. I'd rather have a rock pillow. I mean, that would piss me off too, but the lesser of two evils is definitely, who thinks of this stuff? This brand, I know I keep plugging them, but I told you guys I'm giving you a full face of Nigerian owned makeup brands. Nuban Beauty also has these D-Glow press palettes. It's the same brand that made the liquid or whatever stuff. And I've been holding on to this stuff for like months now. I don't wanna have to necessarily wait for the video to use it. And she can call my name, girl. She just looks so cute. So I'm gonna use, I think I might use, oh, the, ooh, ooh, these are like really creamy. Wow, I was not expecting that finish. Okay, these are really beautiful. I'm gonna take Starstruck. I was definitely Starstruck by that, honey. I'm gonna take a little bit of Starstruck, the middle shade here, and just add some glow to the complexion. This is really pretty. Today, we are not doing an inner corner highlight. I repeat, we are not wearing an inner corner highlight. It's not appropriate for the look, the eye. We, we didn't do all that with the liner and stuff to be throwing on a sparkly, shimmery shebang in there, okay? So we are gonna leave it to the experts for next time. Would you rather eat 10 spiders dipped in chocolate or go to jail for 10 days? Clink, clink! You might have to lock me up. All the skin products that we use today really pop the hell off, all the way off. I'm lining my lips with K from ColourPop. And then for my lips, I'm gonna take Saucy from Fenty. This isn't the orange that I wanted. I wanted a darker orange, but it's okay. It's okay, I could just add more liner, it's fine. Fine. This lipstick is so beautiful though. It really is a vibe. Every Leo needs Saucy. This is Leo personified in a lip color for real. And that girls is the final look. That was really fun and funny. Shout out to everybody on Twitter who participated in today's video and contributed and commented. And not only that, but just followed and support me. I appreciate you so much. I love you. Hard eyes for you. Hugs virtually from six feet away minimum. By the way, if you are not already following me on my Twitter, that's probably the number one platform that I talk the most crap on. So get into it. But for real though, like follow me on Twitter and TikTok and Instagram. Like why wouldn't you? It's free. You don't get charged for it. Everything is at Jackie Ina, just like my YouTube channel. Thank you guys so much for hanging out on today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Links to all of the products will be, of course, as always down below in the description box. And I hope to see you guys on the next video, which by the way, I'll just conveniently place right here as you just bask in all the glory. That is my natural hair, baby. Just enjoy it. Get into it. Yes, just enjoy while I give you looks. 
while I give you looks, you have a look. While I give looks, you take a look. Watch another video now. Hurry up, I work too hard for you to neglect them. Thank you.